Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> Hot treat. Good morning and welcome to Like It or Not, where we're free to tell dad jokes. And not care who don't like them. <laughs> I actually like that last one, James. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Hot treat. <reason. laughs> he said, how did the who kill the, the invisible man? How did the doctor kill the invisible man? <laughs> uh-huh. How did he cure the invisible man? Yeah, <laughs> took him to, took the, to the ice. <laughs> That's high quality dad jokery right there, man. <laughs> it is. Uh-huh. It is today. What is today's day, y'all? Let me get back on focus. It is Thursday, uh, uh, April twenty first, two thousand and twenty two. Welcome to Like It or Not. Uh, Rebecca Zor will be joining us momentarily. DJ exclusive. You've been holding it down, man. I hear we got karaoke coming up. We got patron parties coming up. We got dad jokes. We got international relations. We got philosophy. <laughs> we got a lot going on Corona over here rejections. on this channel. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> Coronal, the damn coronal ejections, man. I keep trying to tell y'all, y'all gotta watch out. See, that's what I, we, <laughs> we 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 theorized. That's what happened to my internet yesterday uh, in the entire area. There was like no internet, and the guy said it was those coronal ejections. That's a very uh, difficult phrase. Do not try to say that more than three times fast, exactly. especially around ch- uh, family. Um, I want to j- <laughs> jump into this first story. <laughs> Uh, Joe Biden is going to make a decision about student loan cancellation Mm. before August. And keep in mind, we have the midterm elections coming up in November. And with everyone screaming at the top of their lungs to President Joe Biden to cancel the student debt, because there is no doubt about it, this would be one of the biggest boons to the economy. Canceling the student debt would be one of the biggest windfalls for the United States economy because you cannot cancel $4 trillion in debt and not expect the people to go out and stimulate. James, they're going to go and spend. They're going to buy homes. They're going to you know, be able to afford to send their children to school now, right? This money is going to circulate right back into the economy. And so Joe Biden is going to make his decision in August. I don't think... Or let me ask it as a question, because, you know, I I say stuff and then I get my head chopped off. Do you think he's dumb enough to to say I'm not going to cancel the debt? And I just don't think he's going to do that. (laughs) I just don't think that's the decision. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Do I? He already got out there and said that he wasn't going to do it already like last year. So, (laughs) no, James, it is something stupid that he would do. (laughs) But but I I hear a voice as as a white guy. I just I got to step step in as a as a as a career politician yes who, no way he's going to do that who who think who who, who insists he's going to run for a second term right what, what lo- where's the logic if there is any at all I to just, do that right before a midterm election which 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 here's an option now i don't expect him to actually cancel the debt I think that they are trying to buy some time to figure out how the private investors who get profit off of student debt can still get those profits while holding this this suspension status. In other words, right now, he keeps putting a hold on our repayments. It, you know, we had a whole throughout the entire pandemic, two full years. Right. And then they try to come and collect the debt. And I told Sally Mae to kiss, you know, where she could go. Um, but now they're starting to call again. You know, they're starting to don't ask me how I know, but they're calling <laughs> they're calling Americans again. And so he's going to he's going to put another hold on it or he has put another hold on it. Yeah. I, I The only other option is for him to put a third and final hold where he holds these loans. We don't have to ever repay them. But somehow or another, they're going to make sure that the people who have investments in student loans, those people who get checks out of this, those people who profit off of education, I guarantee you they're going to keep making that money somehow or another. So I'm curious how this is going to play out. Yeah, Yeah. I I really think that uh, what they'll probably do, Ben, is do it some way where college now is probably about to be expensive as hell. (laughs) Expensive (laughs) AF. Just to counter what he's done with this student debt. So I think we'll probably see a rise in college costs. Um, But, yeah, he did call for another pause on it because I'm one of the ones that paused. So it's funny. I think it interacts around the same time because I think he called for it for the end of September. He either pushed it back to October or September. 
I mean, October, August or September. So it works out perfectly that, you know, he's going to make that decision at the end. But here's my question, though. Which loans are you canceling? You just you just canceling the, the student federal student debt? Are you going to get Sally Mae and all of them? Because if you are, man, yeah, go and get Sally because Sally been on my ass for a long time. <laughs> James, you know, I, I just, man, that was a dope, man. We got a DJ who know how to make everybody <laughs> twerk and also give the dope ass analysis, man. That was some fire ass analysis. You're right. Right. Let's let's just get to the core of it, bro. Like at the end of the day, it, 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 I'm, I'm going to say less because you said it all right there. I want to shift to the next story and see what you think about this, man. Um, well, actually, actually, I want to give one more detail. Jen Psaki said earlier this month that Biden has not ruled out the idea of using his executive authority to forgive student debt. Now, here's the thing, David. I just want to tie in what you were saying, because I don't want to leave that out. It would be beyond political malpractice to set up the entire nation to have an expectation that this is going to either be canceled or we're not going to have to pay these debts by having a permanent hold. If they set this up and in August they decide to stick their finger in our eyes, we're going to give them the middle finger ourselves. Um, mm -hmm. Anyway, I digress. ASAP Rocky was arrested over the 2021 shooting. Uh, rapper allegedly charged with assault with a deadly weapon. Um, the LAPD has foot. We have footage um, of of the arrest. ASAP Rocky arrested in connection with the 2021 Los Angeles shooting. The LAPD is waiting for the artist to arrive on a flight from Barbados. Authorities forced their way into the rapper's home after obtaining a warrant. Details of the shooting are unconfirmed, but TMZ reports that Rocky had performed at a complex con, uh, at rather complex con in Long Beach, California, November 7th, 2021. Um, I have not followed this story in particular, but I am interested in like where this is heading. ASAP Rocky, obviously a rap star for I, James. What are your thoughts on this story? You know, I haven't been following it that closely myself. So when I saw this and especially that they got the warrant or whatnot, but just watching them and what all they did just to get in there was just kind of like, y'all have to do all that, man. Y'all took a, a battering ram to a gate, bro. <laughs> That's kind of <laughs> stupid. I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> you know, like, I guess. The, mm, go ahead, man. It, it's, 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 it's pomp and circumstance. That's all it is. Because if this would have been a, 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 a white actor, okay, mm. they would have went and just knocked on their door. Hey, <laughs> Mr. Hanks, we got your your letter here. You're, we got a warrant for your arrest. But no, they went to ASAP Rocky's home and they got a whole battering ram to a steel gate and knocking on that shit like you knocking on the door. Make it make sense, y'all. Y'all try to do this, and, and it's always like this with rappers, and especially black rappers or hip-hop artists or R&B artists. They go over and above to make mm. sure they serve or do anything that they need to do. And it's it's it's, it's stupid as hell. Y'all could have just, y'all knew this man was out of the country. Y'all could have said, hey, Mr. Rocky, we got a warrant for your arrest. You could have just pulled up and arrested the man. Run the doorbell. He's going to open the door. He ain't going to sit there opening it in. That's when you use the force to do all this extra shit. Now you got, it's three of y'all outside the gate, knocking on the gate. It ain't doing a damn thing. Y'all look stupid. Y'all look dumb. Y'all look real dumb. <laughs> you are so stupid. We, we, have someone, uh, we, 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 have, we have someone coming on to the show. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Hey, all right. Let's do. Sorry. I missed that though. Let's move. Uh, we are ready. We are ready. Here we go. We are ready for our sister from another Mr. Rebecca Azor is here. Let's bring her into the conversation. Rebecca. Good Hi, morning guys. to you. Queen Azor. Good coming morning. In looking like a queen as she is. Okay. Coming in with the <laughs> crown high, the earrings on and giving body wise up top. Like, hello, I am yeah. queen Rebecca Azor. Thank you, Bubba. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, good morning. Yeah. You know, when your braids get old, I put this on Twitter. When your braids get old, that's when you feel like you want to style it. Like, cause you can't right. wear it down. You know, you see these, these edges this is the best I could do to slick my babies down. Cause baby, all in between. When you natural and got braids, all in between. You know, it's just a fro and then the braid. Mm. So that's where I'm at with it now. That's when you have to start styling. 
But good morning. <laughs> and how are good you morning. guys doing? <laughs> good morning. Doing good. Good to see you. I feel usual. like I haven't seen you in a while. I, right. You haven't seen me in a while. Um, even yesterday, yesterday was, was fault, a blur but, to me yeah. on the show. Yeah. It was a lot mm-hmm. happening for us to um, get the show together yesterday. But I am here today, Tad. Um, but I am here this morning, and I'm happy to be here. That's good. <laughs> Can I share something with you real quick? I, I had occasion to... Uh, dang. Yeah, I came to Atlanta last week, and I, I didn't tell y'all because I was in and out of town. So now I might as well just put that out there now. But I went to Atlanta, and something beautiful. I was sitting with one of my uh, my wife's sorority sister. It was my wife and and the sorority sister, and she was like, "I just love that Rebecca Azor. She's an old older lady. And she's you know, I mean, she's just so. She was like, she just keeps it real. <laughs> she was like, but she's like, she's like, but she's so honest. She just be like, you know, she be telling her job where they can take it, and, and like, and I'm like, Listen. I'm going to tell her this because she was just glowing, and you never really know how many people are actually just impacted by your joy, Rebecca. But I haven't seen you since I got back in town. I wanted to make sure you heard that. Oh, well, thank you. I really, really And Ben, I knew you were here. I think Rebecca probably knew you was here, too. We saw your your Instagram post. I'm like, this ninja in Atlanta. You know what? Seen it, and I kept moving. I was in and out, though. I was in and out. (laughs) This is how people be for real. They just be out here like, you know, he didn't even hit us with, I'm in your... He didn't even hit us with, I'm in your... I got to give y'all my trap phone number. I I got it. I'm I'm sorry. When I go out of town, I just I don't really take any communication with me, but I did post that Instagram post, so I told on myself so. My bad. And, and but the point was, that, there was a Rebecca, good message that came out of street, it, James. Rebecca, he was down the street. The location <laughs> wait, no, was right wasn't. there. I said, wait, wait, uh, wait. Yeah, wait, you wait, was what down the street. It said you was down the street, bro. <gasps> oh, wait a minute. Oh, because I was I was over. Okay, okay. Now, that was a random occurrence. Rebecca, and I'm going to yield the floor to you. I, it was a random occurrence. No, I was dressed. Listen, you clearly know I was not trying to be on the internet by how I was dressed, but that barbecue was so good, I had yeah. to give an endorsement <laughs> right in real time. So, yeah. Yes, that was technically right around the corner from you, James. He was looking pretty bummy. He was looking pretty bummy. It's okay, though. Oh, <laughs> Rebecca, you got the floor. <laughs> no, but, um, you know, you didn't give it. A, you, I seen it, but, you know, you didn't give us an opportunity to be like, you know, I'm in your city. And then we we either not text you back or you got to give us okay. the opportunity. Cause you came into oh, our city. Um, All right, like, yeah. give us a chance to say, OK, but enjoy. The Have point fun. of the yeah. story. Yeah. The point of the story well, I know, was but that. I thank you for sharing that, though. That really, um, right. I love that. Thank you for adding that to my, my, um, my heart, because I needed that oh. this morning. So thank oh. you so much. Yeah. Now you got my eyes twitching over here. <laughs> Dog, Your eyes sweating. I saw that. <laughs> I saw somebody say that on Twitter. So my eyes are sweating. My eyes are sweating. I thought that was funny. But no, I needed that because, you know, I do. Especially when she said she'd be telling her job where they can take it. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying I'm trying to be right there. I'm trying to be right there. So, but thank you for that. I, I appreciate that. And I, and I love that um, people see me. You know what I'm saying? Um, are you all right? <clears throat> I'm okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Um, <laughs> oh, I know that. And don't think that, y'all, when you're Haitian and somebody's coughing, you got to do that so that they can do it too and get it out. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, I, I just, um, I, it's, I, I appreciate that people see me. Um, you know, sometimes you are here and you're doing this uh, job um, and, and as much as you do it and you know that people see you, but it's great when you get the 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 commentary instead of focusing on the ones that are negative. It's just great hearing people actually yeah. be like, hey, I'm a fan of yours. You know, hey, I love what you do. Hey, you make me laugh. E- even if I don't care about the other stories you be talking about, but you make me laugh and I need that in the morning. Or I love the way that you tackle this, these stories. You know, it's always something that we can give a piece of us to people who watch. And sometimes right. when we're we're not even expecting it. Somebody's like, Hey, because of you, this, that, and the other, I remember somebody, um, uh, I was on, um, the Hill and I mentioned one little story, one little tidbit of a story about someone whose son died from not getting the appropriate care, um, because they didn't, couldn't afford, I think it was like a, uh, nine dollars something a med- med- medicaid mm-hmm. med- medication that they need right and i spoke about it i mentioned it i re- I, I referred to it um in a store in one of the stories the other stories that we were talking about that man found me on the internet <laughs> he was like yeah, i heard it briefly you said it for about five seconds but thank you 
for mentioning my son's story. Mm. I really appreciate that. That's it means dope. the world to me. Oh, wow. You, the yeah. actual. That's so dope. The actual person. That is beyond dope. You never know who right. you're, 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 who's watching, who you're touching. Wow. I mean, I think about the story that we did for um, uh, Mayor Rufus Davis. Rufus. Yeah, I love uh, that man's name. I love that <laughs> man's Miller, name. Georgia. That's the and blackest name mayor I've ever heard in the history Rufus of black Davis. <laughs> Rufus, <laughs> Rufus Davis. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah. you know, he, he didn't even know. Look, we just doing the story because we thought, get that black man the keys to the city. That's the mayor. How does he not have any access to the keys? To the to the little the literal building that he works in as the mayor of Camilla, Georgia, and we did that story, and he said we helped get uh, get his story all across places. People were calling him to do the story. We broke that nice. story. We brought it to light, uh, and you know, and then we got him on. So I mean, you know, our platform. Put, some you, people, Rebecca, you've been putting in. We've been putting in some work. I forgot all about that story. You oh just yeah, instant and recalled that, all those details. Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> and and I th- like and I, then I was looking at this other story. Look. Because I'm gonna just be talking this morning, and then I was looking at this other story. Georgia posted about a young man getting his hair cut at a, uh, at his school without the parents' yeah. permission. I thought about the story that we broke uh, in our first in, in our first go of like it or not, and it was about a little girl, and she the daycare cut her hair, and the woman who cut her hair said to her that she'll be more prettier this way. So the, the little girl had curly hair. She was a, a, a mixed race child, um, but she had curly hair. You know, a black baby, and so uh, they cut her hair off, and they said that she'll be more prettier when the hair grows back. When I did that story, when I broke that story, that was my first million view story and nice. uh, I was looking at it actually came up in my um you know the Facebook you know what is it memories memories uh, yeah. and I started off like this her hair was cut it was cut what would you do as a mother in this position the mother says, and I said, girl, <laughs> you used to get on me about my broadcasting you style, so- Rebecca. You have the broadcastiest <laughs> voice when you want to. I do. Florida a right. taught me that, but it was my fingernail because nail still was done. It was me saying it was cut. It was cut. <laughs> I was like, girl. <laughs> but yes, we have definitely done so many stories. Um, we have had so many views for you guys that are watching. I didn't think this was going to be appreciation day for y'all, but every day is appreciate appreciation day for y'all. Everybody who watches and supports us, everybody who sends beautiful messages. Don't think that I don't see it. Latif, don't think that I don't get them every Tuesday taco funds that you give me to go right. get eat some tacos. <laughs> don't think I ain't receiving that. I received all of it. And I thank all of you guys. And yeah. if I must go, um, on May 1st, back to, um, my office on May 11th. If I must go, just know that I appreciate every single show that I've done thus far, especially through this pandemic. It's been amazing. It's been great. And it won't be um, goodbye. Yeah. It'll just be see you later. Look, I'm well, about to cry. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but yeah. Yeah, so um, <clears throat> you ain't going nowhere. I'm going to put that into the atmosphere right here. Right, right now. When, when, when two or more agree, so shall Come on, be. Hey, so you oh. ain't going nowhere. Hallelujah, somebody. Extend your hands to the screens all over the internet right now. From Budapest <laughs> to Pompano. <laughs> to Denmark. To Haiti. <laughs> to Australia. <laughs> to Kabul. <laughs> to every part of this country. We about to turn the corner. and Rebecca ain't going back into that. <laughs> office Mm-mm. no i'm not i'm crazy we, we, enough we, don't, to we don't have the graphics on screen but go to patreon.com and make this happen hey hey mm-hmm. there all right is right there. slash like it or not or slash B, B, the bpd show that's right Ooh, so look, y'all gotta um, take a break because i need to go fix my makeup i am not trying to be on the rest of the show give me five no minutes, it's all good let's let's twerk right uh, james give us some party music <laughs> whatever you got do what you want to do james we'll be back right after this quick break Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned, man. Oh, yeah. Rebecca. Oh, it's big time. No man, diamonds in my teeth. I got a lot of shine. Running up the knock, but that's a lot of crime. Shout out for Leah, Leah. We appreciate you. I'm big time. 
Malia probably one of our, our youngest viewers. She be watching every morning. <laughs> Tony DaVinci, good morning. This is Big Time by Recaution. Yeah. Shout out Miss Sophia. I love you, Miss Sophia. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, Ben, I'm going to tell you something funny. <clears throat> the True Dragon says, why does Ben know CPR? <laughs> Because all people elves know the cookie production recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Only I can talk about being short. so tasty. <laughs> Tell it it's your world. She wants the two tone spaceship. And he's no actually shorter than the king a little bit. Little level up. Never mind, you know what? All right, y'all, so I think we are ready to come back. America. Rebecca, you good? I need a break from hysteria. Park like the one with the carousel. I get it lit in your area. Okay. I'm locked to the vision. It couldn't be clear. You couldn't pay me to care enough. I dare you to hate me supreme with the sound through the stereo. All right, all right, y'all. So welcome back to the screen. I tell you, Rebecca Azor and short ass Benjamin Dixon, Benjamin Personal Parnell. Listen, what's funny is that most of us haven't seen each other because of the pandemic, but I had to set right. proper expectations that when I come back and y'all see me after the pandemic, I know I have kind of a big stature, <laughs> but I had to make sure people <laughs> understand I have a diminutive height. Okay. So, cause but I don't want people, when well, you run into people, that, people be like, height, listen, you're... listen, bro, let me tell you something. I remember sitting down eating dinner with some, with some, some of these, these, these ladies one time and they had heard about me. This is before I got married. And, and when we sat down at the table with this group of us, they said, I heard so much about you. You're just a lot shorter than what I thought. <laughs> like what? What's people that say things? Say? Anyway. Uh, people people say wanna... a lot of things. People have no kind of filter sometimes, and it's like, yeah, they I know all... I'm short, but I still get well. Back in my younger days, yes, you got to say, I still get them. I still get the hoes. You know, whatever the case may be. And for me, Period. it they were yeah, there with for, me. So here we yeah. go. <laughs> yeah. Amen. And yeah, so yeah. for me, I remember. Look, and this is way back in high school, though. Like I was a cheerleader, all that good stuff. You know, whatever. Why this man came up to me? This man, this this boy <laughs> came up to me. It was like, <laughs> be careful with that. You are so beautiful. I was like, well, thank you. You know, you know, this is me in 12th grade. Getting, it was 12th grade. It was me getting myself. I'm about to go to fam soon. You know, whatever. He's like, but you just have a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> no. But but I knew I had a mustache. I was not. I was in high school. I wasn't shaving my mustache. It was like whatever. And the thing is, because I have a a, a beauty mark here that people think I draw on, but it's real. Because I have a beauty mark here, people always go straight there, straight there. And it's like, dang, if I don't shave that five o'clock. <laughs> So they see the beauty mark and then it's right. Uh, it's, it's 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 amazing there. that the beauty mark is drawing it, it, attention listen, to the mustache. I give cat whiskers sometimes, and then I'll give the. So I started doing laser. Laser has really helped me, as you guys can see. And and then I hit, you know, I'll, I'll do a, um, a a nice razor real quick to make mm. sure I clean, go back up for the week. But laser definitely keeps me nice and smooth for the kitties, cause baby. This show is just I could be right here with you. Okay. I could be right here. It's like, you know, taking a shot of Hennessy. It'll come right out. Now, I'm... <laughs> Rebecca, that's actually a decent segue, I think, to something. Hey, wait, wait, before we said segue, I, wait, uh, well, well, before we do that segue, because I, I we, we did a story and, and we didn't do it properly. I, I got to. This is going to be funny, Rebecca, and I need you to I need you to get some input on this. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I left hip hop in 2008. So I honestly, I know I should. I know my kids even know who ASAP Rocky is. I honestly uh -huh. did not connect who ASAP Rocky was until I saw that he's he's uh, Rihanna's like Rihanna is pregnant. You know, I didn't know who he was except for through Rihanna, boyfriend. right? Who know um, him? Rihanna from boyfriend. The song, um, uh, Fashion Killer. 
Uh, Not only Dwayne, fast what's... killer. What the the one that everybody knows said I'm the killer. To the oh. killer. I love that song. Uh, Doesn't I ring a bell. That got a problem. A problem. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, got like, a problem. I, got a, hey. problem. I was working out yeah. to that the other day. Oh, but yeah, that's a ring a bell. So. Hey. <laughs> Matter of fact, hey. I love hip hop when um, Rihanna was singing "Live Your Life." Hey, 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 hey. That's when I left. So even, I had no idea who ASAP Rocket was. But you, now, that was a Kendrick Lamar song. You knew I love bad bitch. That my bra. When two chains was yeah. saying that in the song, yeah, you know yeah, okay, that. so I definitely know that. Yeah, 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 uh-huh. yeah, 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 yeah. At least that yeah. you know that. But so don't give it to your kids because he ain't really making no music like that. He's just, well, just doing he's business not. moves and and he's uh uh you know partnered with his partner and making a beautiful baby. So I um, think. Do you think that's why though, James? Do you think they could have been just over the top with this because he was because he was supposedly there in Barbados with Rihanna? Like yeah. that's even that's I like even the way worse you say for them Barbados. I, I, love you. I like that too, Barbados. That Barbados. was cute. Oh, Barbados. Um, Barbados. Oh. But, uh, but no, seriously, <laughs> I, I think that <laughs> they... No, it's not. And, the, and, and, and you're referring to him being um, arrested for, yeah. uh, I think, a 2021 uh, alleged yeah, shooting. A shooting. Um, right. So they did this all of a sudden because now he hasn't even really been in the limelight last time we seen him uh in the limelight was when he was i believe in amsterdam and he was arrested uh, i believe it was on drug charges something like that he was out of the country he was in europe and uh i think it was donald trump had to go get him something like that it was something that happened in that time i don't remember but that was a while back and uh and then everybody's like we're gonna turn our backs on him because he made commentary about black people <laughs> like how he was saying like you know about yeah. black lives matter movement um oh, now, now i, I feel like he, he just kind of removed himself from the limelight because he has a woman who's fighting for black lives matter he ha- and, and they're both in the business of fashion and just moving forward so i believe that he um he turned a new leaf, especially being with the woman that he is with. Uh, yeah. and, 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 and now that he's more in them, like we haven't really seen him. He ha- like, he's been dating her and then they came out as an official couple, even though we knew they was official. Um, but like they came years out ago. as an official, right. <laughs> they came out as an official couple as she was pregnant for real. Um, mm. even though we knew she was pregnant for a minute too. But, and as he became to me, as he's been in the line, like, I feel like they're like, let's go get him. Let's start. Let's stir some trouble. Absolutely, Rebecca. He, yep. Rihanna's one of, is a huge mogul, and he's a mogul as well. And it's all right. So for for they were like, let's go and let's start some trouble. I feel like sometimes they want to go for high profile people, especially when they're black. <laughs> uh, and Dwayne, to rewind uh, that footage, please, Dwayne. Rewind that footage. <laughs> They want to go for black people, um, especially when they're high profile black people. Um, and what they'll do is ex- extreme things, extreme things. The, f- the fact that this is uh, headline news um, for something that we know he can. And they made his bail five hundred, I think, fifty thousand dollars. Not that he couldn't make that bail, but that is a ridiculous amount of money for like, why now? Why just now when he's supposed to have she went home to Barbados to go have the baby? Just Why now? Wow. Ass. This goofball. Wow. Get, not him. Get, did, not him knocking didn't take all down. of that. Like, why were you even bamming on the gate? Nine times out of ten, they probably pressed the button and let him in. The way that gate opened up, they probably pressed the button and let him in. You ain't had to go out there with a battering ram to try to get into this damn still ass gate. What kind of sense does that make? But and and it's all just all coming like he's he's been under attack all of a sudden lately. Ever since yep. he made that comment about Black Lives Matter movement or whatever the case may be, ever since he, you know, he was in jail or in in some kind of trouble in that other country, I don't remember specifically. Well, he shouldn't what have said nothing bad about Black um, Lives. But I don't no, care about but, the organization. No, I'm talking about Black Life. It was the movement, I believe, but it doesn't matter. You know, that was a time that yeah. we were all looking at him crazy. But I believe that you know he sat with some good people, and he sat yeah. everything yeah, else right. out. There was no more real interviews. There was no the more commentary. Room. You know, I, I think the ancestors got him when he was in the, and when, uh, uh, you know, out of the country. <laughs> and then he got an opportunity to try it again. God gave him uh, Rihanna again for him mm. to try better. And, do, you know, and he hasn't been in any trouble. Right. Just last week, there was a rumor spinning from a random, a random, random Twitter user, a random Twitter user who may have a following, um, but it's not so uh, great that I would think that all of Twitter would take this and run with it uh, about him being a cheater, cheating on his pregnant wife, uh, having alleged uh, evidence that didn't work. I can't believe Twitter really took that and ran with it, but it's Twitter. Um, then we have this. 
I think they, like, something about government officials, officers, whoever, like, yeah, we, did, did, did that guy's name come up in our... And our sheet here. I mean, I know we have a lot of other murderers and other suspects and things like that, but let's go get this guy. I mean, and let's be really extreme with it because he could be dangerous because he's high profile and he's black. He probably has guns and stuff. Uh, but let's go get this guy because it didn't have to be all this. It's on TMZ. They're showing like 90,000 officers who ain't, who ain't stopping crime up the street for real. Right. And they're showing right. all of them be parked in front of this man's home had to take this did they even call to say hey did they even like what was the did you have to go and this is what i'm talking the about the man has Force an attorney did they contact his attorney this is a high profile person and he's probably trying to do things right he's about to be a father like did you guys give him any opportunity for anything he probably would have turned himself in he probably would have like spoke to his attorney first options here but they here's that like that no knock that whole thing you don't know but like these are the things that they're trying to he is black and he's a threat. And that's what they wanted to move forward with. It wasn't that, you know, like, and they had to make it made, like the first thing that you see in the news. We have so many other things. Mm -hmm. th these are the things that I'm talking about. They made it so extreme so that it can be the first thing that we see in the news as the mother of his child is about to drop, uh, 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 is about to drop the baby, um, you right. know, and this is supposed to be a special moment. And so here it is. Whack it, whack behind officers, government we'll officials, uh, you know, we'll want to go ahead and uh, take moments from people, uh, especially when they're, they're high profile and they're just pick and choose. They don't care who they're hurting in the midst. This right. is somebody who, who can definitely get him, get lawyered up. Come on. This is somebody who has access to that. You guys set his bill to something where you thought he couldn't achieve it. You don't know. Then y'all don't know him. He was able to achieve that come out, and now he's really going to lawyer up. And who knows if he'll press charges or, 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 or whatever the case may be for them uh, damaging his property. We don't know how that's going to look. Y'all played with the wrong one. I think in this mm -hmm. position, they played the wrong one. And for the simple fact just, that, let's, let's, Rihanna, Rihanna, like Ben, Rihanna is a billionaire, Ben. I know you asked that I earlier. So. She is a billionaire, so. yeah. and... Come on now, she she got plenty of lawyers. She because Rihanna's hand is in a lot. She makes. You think money. that baby? You her think her, the father of child ain't gonna be there? <laughs> right. He's gonna be there. She's gonna make sure he's there. She Whatever he sure did, we'll talk there. about later. Because I'm about to drop this baby, and you know, it, like I said, it's a whole pro, it's a, it's a high profile situation. They've been gunning for her um and, and and him i don't know what it is but they're gunning for him and they can't wait to find something on this man just to yep. put this as news that's bigger than ukraine and russia news is right. bigger than any war that we're not even watching in the black countries news is bigger than the fact that we got homeless people outside you know Hello. right across the street from gentrification they want they will make this bigger news Damn. So, you said that rebecca <laughs> 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 it's a fool. They're gonna make it it's a story a regardless. They they mm -hmm. always trying to make something a story, especially when it comes to a black hip hop artist who's doing good has not been at, at the limelight. And then, granted, he it, he's been making music, but it has it. He has been making music like that. He's been enjoying mm -hmm. his time with his girl. Like him and yeah. Rihanna have been chilling real hard. As like he should said, be. Rebecca, it's something that Rihanna probably said, "Hey, baby, you you got to chill out, babe, babe. You got to chill out." <laughs> <laughs> and he's good. Saying, he's just been silly. <laughs> I want to see Rihanna. I want to see Rihanna act up like a billionaire. I want to see Rihanna oh, treat and she's probably, the police she's probably already done it. like billionaires. She probably already police. dropped the check as soon as they posted the bail because at first they did not. They prolonged yep. it, as you can see. And so, and then they finally put, uh, uh, um, showed how much it was going to be. I'm pretty sure she dropped that money and said, boy, you better come on because we're about to drop this baby. We'll handle that. Come back over here. <laughs> we're going to handle that soon because oh, we're not, we not going to be up here. You're supposed to be in Barbados with me. What's going on? Barbados. Right. <laughs> Barbados. And I'm sure they go he's going taking his ass right back over there because that's where she wants to I know she wants to have the baby in um, Barbados from what I heard. Mm. Yeah, no, mm. that, that's what they're saying. That's allegedly because she hasn't given that information, but allegedly uh she's going back home to have the baby in Barbados with Barbadian doctors 
Um, yeah. I hope it's how you say. It. I don't even know what's called. I don't. I made right. Barbadian app. I made. I think it's Bayesian. It's sounded, but, um, it made, it I think it's right Bayesian. But um, yeah, uh, she's gonna do that, and it's good. I think that's great. I think that's beautiful. Um, when I'm pregnant, mm. I hope that uh, I can go back. You know, I can go to Haiti and drop a baby out there, have a dual residence, the residence. <laughs> so yeah, really? I wanted to um, move to another story though. Um, Look, I wanted to move to another. I know uh, this is going to be an audible, but I wanted to go to this particular one. It's a, a strange pivot, but um, Viola Davis. Since we're in right now, we're in the entertainment stories. But entertainment, I wanted right? to, yeah, I wanted to go to Viola Davis playing Michelle Obama. <laughs> Why did I wasn't expecting that to be the first. I was. I was trying. I was, I, I was trying to come on to give a heads up before we do this, so we don't have the audio. I cut it so that we could try to avoid the monetization issue, but I combined everything from from that. Uh, okay, from that. Yeah. so they dropped this piece, and 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 here's her telling him, "You're a coon. You're an." Uh, running for president of the United States. Uh, she was, I guess, having a conversation with him saying that you don't believe that you, I, I guess, are, um, I don't know, like you can't have secret service. You can't have the abilities that the president ha- pres- another president may have um, or has had um, or people around you. You deserve to have that. But she was telling him why, why. And it was because he was a, a, a coon um, in a, in a, in a, not an oh, ER with an A. a. With an a. Um, yeah. Well, she was having that conversation with him. Who chose now? The, wait, here's did, my how, thing. Oh, that my God, y'all! Everybody Dave, got. Davey, you might be banned from cutting B-roll for putting that picture. <laughs> oh my there. God! Today, because that was because we I terrible. Told him, I told him, yeah, let's let's pull that B-roll know, down. We we owe Viola Davis more than that. You, that. Everybody <laughs> said that. They said, "I am sorry. This wasn't I my choosing." Rebecca wanted this. We will not. We will not be. We will not shut you. We will not cancel you for this. But this. <laughs> we just because we be, uh, be uh, sure and, the, white boy, the, the white the white the white producer did it, not though. choose this. <laughs> it was me. It was we me. I, I, cho- I chose it. Yeah, we will not have it. Oh, <laughs> wait, wait, Rebecca, you, wait. <laughs> it's it's funny in our story when David did it. Okay. Right. <laughs> I'm just not Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. In real time, we were about to commit an injustice and blame that poor white man behind the scenes. And, and, no, and, and, and I told him because Rebecca he didn't pick did. that. I did it. I dropped the last minute. I was like, "Hey, get this and um and just put all these uh there's and there's we were a video. all more than happy to let David take and that. Matter of yeah. fact, I looked at it. And I was like, "Do I really want to do this zoom <laughs> on, the, on the picture?" <laughs> Viola, though, I like. Okay. Okay. Oh, so the story, but what you're saying is more important than the uh, that image that um, that we would be canceled for for playing again. But it's shout just, out to Viola Davis. Go ahead. Yeah. Shout out to Viola Davis. But it it really is. Um, are we going to support when it comes out? We 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 were excited though. I'm not even going to lie. Many people because it's been. I mean, I think a little bit over a year. They were uh, teasing this movie coming out about Michelle Obama, and so we were. Uh, people were saying, you know, I don't know if we can, you know, see Viola in that. Then they tease something of her actually doing the, you know, walking in, I guess, or something. And it and it gave, it, it it did give Michelle. And they were saying, you know what? I could probably see this. I'm excited to see Viola really take this on. And so now when we actually get a clip in motion with audio. Mm. And then we get her just doing that face right there. I don't know. It was... Yeah. <laughs> well, let, me ask, let me ask you this, Rebecca, because I yeah. haven't seen that clip and I haven't watched the preview of it. I mean, does it does it because looking at that part, I'm already not interested, but at least <laughs> hearing it with sound, does it make it any better? <laughs> it makes it strange to be like, dang, Shell was like that. But then it's like, <laughs> what, you know what I'm saying? But then it was like, at the same time, Viola, you really, you wanted to go there. And I feel that for you because you are an actor. And I believe actors don't act, do not do that no more. They don't, they don't really get in they don't and try have to snot become. running down their nose no more. They don't do it. Yeah, like no, they don't really no. try to get in. Viola is somebody, she'll have the snot. She'll have it. She'll have the tears. She will she will roll on the floor. She got Caribbean in her blood. So that this is natural. Right. Okay. So um but hmm? what, what? Is, what is rolling yeah. on the anyway, I digress. Go ahead. That's real Caribbean. When we really in, 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 in we get going through a crisis, we shocked. 
we hurt, we rolling on the floor, we let it all come out, hang out, oh, yeah. oh. okay? So, anywho, <laughs> the people are pissed. The people are pissed that um, Viola is making this face. <laughs> I'm literally going through the comment sections right now, and it's a horrible. Piss. They were saying that there could have been other actors that played this role. Yeah. I, for Obama, I, you can pick any mixed man with a fade and call it that. What's his as name? As long as Joy he knows Peele? how to do the accent. You could have got you know, Jordan Peele to play Obama. Any, he, like, okay. You can get any Just man. Like, uh, uh, lighter skin tone. No, I'm going to give y'all a throwback. Alpha fade. Cat. Alpha Cat. They should have got him to play it. That's that's a that's like a 10-year throwback when U2 first came Alpha on the Cat. screen. He was the best impersonator of Barack Obama. Alpha Cat. I, I think, think I remember you name. talking about, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but Rebecca said any random light-skinned person with a fade could have played Obama. I'm done. I'm now, done. for Michelle, though, <sighs> like, I just think that um, we set Viola Davis up. And I believe, I don't know who now. Let me take it here. I don't know who... I don't know who thought this was okay. Usually a lot of these uh, production companies mm. are white owned um, yep. and they want to tell black stories and they think who is a black woman who is popular right now. Uh, let's get Viola Davis. She has some. Viola friends. Davis is great. Viola Davis. Yeah. Vi- Viola Davis. She's great. Uh, we're going to, I know her number, you know, you know, a friend of her, friend, uh, I know her husband. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and we'll call and we'll, we'll, we'll get a favor and we'll see if Viola can do it. Cause she's a great, that, that black woman is, a, is she great, huh? Like Michelle Obama. When they t- when they go low, we go high, right? High five. <laughs> high five. <laughs> high five, right? Let's give Viola oh, a call. Are crazy instead, of looking, <laughs> instead of looking at, the features, maybe looking at, I'm not saying that Viola is not a great actress. I'm not saying that she's right. not beautiful. I think, I think that lady is gorgeous. I think she's a great actress, phenomenal. She has taken on roles that she probably didn't see herself in, and she took them on and made us believe that this role can only go for her. With Michelle Obama, I love that she committed to the facial features, of that she committed to, of course, getting the script down and 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 the passion. But I think that the production got this one wrong. Mm, mm, mm. And they set especially her up. if this is the first taste people are getting. This is the first clip look that people are getting into this show. It, it, I, I don't know if that's the scene that you well. It yeah. might be amazing yeah, though, guys. It might blow our mind. You know what? Yeah, With all this talk that I'm doing. Yeah, I was just yeah. gonna say to be fair, we should probably wait till like next week because it airs on Sunday. Yeah, actually, you know the I mean? first just episode, the first aired. episode is already out. Yeah, but, and so that what one she was in that each, one. Yeah, I think each episode is about a different first lady, if I understand the show right. So interesting, you know. what I mean, it could be one of those situations, like because this reminds me of when when uh, the the Venus and Serena movie was coming out, and everybody was killing them for casting Will Smith as as Richard Williams. And he yeah. killed it. So, you know, they you were. Know what I mean, so, yeah, they we were. Should, yeah. We should wait. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, think, it, is, I think it might it be. It seems like it's, uh, it's focused on Eleanor, um, Michelle, and there's one other person, Betty. I don't know who Betty is. I'm only watching for um, Michelle. I'm rooting for everyone black. That's the story. Yeah, so she's in, be, she's in both episodes. For. Yeah, she's in both yeah. episodes. I'm reading the uh, the descriptions now. Each one. So. Betty Ford yeah. was. Uh, what, what, what Betty was, Ford. Um, yeah. Yeah. So um, we'll wait, but I will say that just that clip. Like I said, she was passionate. Don't tell me. I ain't saying that, that she didn't do a good rendition of Michelle, <laughs> but it just looked like if she was set up. Like it just looked, It was crazy. It was. It was wild. But anywho. Um, Shout out to, to V, Miss Viola Davis. I love her meaning. I think that she deserves all of her flowers. As I think she's one of the greatest actors in this particular time. She has come yeah. from the bottom um, and mm. made her way through. Um, you know, even when she did the movie The Help, I think that yeah. was just a terrible production decision to give us the black and white kumbaya situation um and it did, it was given like not viola davis not that strong black woman that don't need no man not her 
<laughs> well, and they had the, they had the nerve to drop this during Black Ramadan. <laughs> it's just too what? much. <laughs> What's wrong with so? <laughs> That was that. I wanted to drop that. I wanted to definitely talk about that. Now, I want to move forward on this other one, um, this other story. Sorry, it's going to be another Audible, but it is in the, um, it is in Slack. I don't I'm know sure if you I got it, it, David. Yeah, um, sure. which, which one? Yeah, it's the one with the white woman who's, yes. The... Hold on, guys. Give me one second. <laughs> <laughs> what the what? hell just <laughs> What the hell just happened here? I Let, think she's. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was. That was part of the audible. <laughs> Wait a minute! Like, what damn. time do we have? <laughs> we, we only have eight minutes left. <laughs> Bro, she jumped up like. <laughs> and then the bad part, like she answered the door, like she was on office door. Yes. Damn. <laughs> oh man. Oh. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm sure everything is fine. We'll get back. Do we 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 have other stories? Kid Cuddy <laughs> fell out with just saying he's not gonna mess with Kanye West anymore. And Mac Miller's uh drug dealer is going to uh be charged with murder or something to that effect. Ten, I just can't really bring years, myself watch, back together. James, you want to play some music? We just go to a break Sorry, early and we come back and no, 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 the after Rebecca's party. Back. No. <laughs> no, she's back. Sorry. She's back. <laughs> Rebecca okay. Azor, we're Rebecca live. Wants to go we're ahead. not on broadcast television yet, I Rebecca know. Azor. <laughs> I know. The, it, I got people here in the house is, is a fool, too. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca wants to go to AP Zero. Uh, yeah. Uh, wait. No. Yeah. AP I apologize zero. about that. Y'all was all in my business in the background. <laughs> girl, you, you put all your business, business on your business, girl. Your so you put it on the air. It, it won't in the background no more. Soon as you, soon as you addressed it on air, it ain't in the background. Yeah. No it, yeah. Oh. Y'all know I live somewhere where we get constant, um, you know, check-ins for our, you know, our fire extinguishers and everything to make sure. Oh, that they take care of the property over there. Every okay. yes, they do right. very well, very very well. Okay. Listen, you must live in the white side of. I do. I do. I live in the white. Okay, I live in the white. I ain't seen my landlord or my maintenance person <laughs> in about five years. <laughs> this shit falling to hell. Okay. Listen. So, that, that's so what I'm just telling you. I'm this going shit. To, <laughs> wait, wait. We're back and say that. We're back area where you want to reverse the other side of gentrification. Yeah, right. you got to reverse gentrify. Now, don't go to areas that have were once black that turn white. You got to go to the white side because uh -huh. the, yep. the rent the rent will always be lower. The security in that place. I mean, aside from you being black and everybody looking at you crazy and they kind of ready to fight you, um, but. You will have security in that place. You can make complaints and people will show up. Um, you, you can actually go to the local Target, Walmart, uh, Delatre. Um, you can go to any one of the, these stores. Nothing is locked up or behind mm. the register. You have really? access to everything. I don't even know what that's thing. like anymore. You Rebecca have about access to, have to folks everything. Out here in the sunken place. <laughs> All right, so I want to get this in for, for, for her before we go off, to, off too, too far into the weeds. Let's roll AP zero before we go to the afternoon. <laughs> what? If schools no, are allowed to down. teach gender identity to elementary children, then I, as a elementary educator, should also oh. have the freedom to teach them about how God was not confused when he designed them. I should be able to teach them about Jesus and how God created them, a boy or a girl, on purpose and for a purpose. If you have the freedom to teach my child that they might be confused about their gender, then I should also have the liberty to teach your child that God did not make a mistake when he created them. I think it's time we even out the playing ground. God certainly made a mistake making her, I could tell you Is that, that much. As soon as that video was over, she went and, and probably beat the kids. Kid. Beat the right. shit out of them kids. You know that I was on air. I was trying to do something for the kids, and here I go with my own damn children, embarrassing now, me on air like this. This could, is so. But she, she did that, that, and she thought she. she it was a lot. She it was into lot the camera. She was trying to. She was trying to get through the last. The, the last few to seconds. Turn of that. the tables. But, 
<laughs> but <laughs> but no, she um she thought she ate with that for real. Uh, she did. She really did. She yeah, thought, you thought you ate that. <laughs> It, you did not Gave me back my plate Cause I thought she was gonna say, say Something serious But all it is Is damn raisins And the potato salad And I'm tired of it And I'm tired Ranch and the macaroni and cheese The delivery The, the delivery Was terrible You didn't give us What we needed Ranch in the macaroni and cheese Man Cats, That's the in, the the macaroni and cheese. Cats in the fridge Alright I know Cats I know in some, the fridge I know some white people But I don't know no white people To put ranch and macaroni and cheese <laughs> Man, well, look, I heard what? it somewhere, and they was like, "Yeah, you put ranch in your macaroni and cheese." I'm like, "Ranch? Now, I'll say this what about is ranch. that?" Okay, let me say this about ranch. It's, it's just a day for me, huh? Girl, you them coronal ejections. I'm telling y'all, they all over the place. <laughs> no, that's that. Why? Put, that's that. What you want for lunch? Uh, call. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it is. Lunch, I do babe. think it's. <laughs> but what um, came to mind when I saw that clip, Rebecca, was uh, your friend Benjamin Carlton. And when he, oh, came, when he came on the show about a month or two ago uh-huh. and reminded everyone that not everyone is born clearly either. You know, there's a, the, people are born with multi, like both gendered sometimes. So I'd like to know how God, how, how God didn't make mistakes or I don't I don't know how to phrase that. But you know where I'm going with it. David, you ask us a deep theological question with two <laughs> minutes left on the clock. Jesus, <laughs> heaven, you know. Great, great way to Y'all close the be show. Looking and around like, <laughs> what the, what the, well, the, well, you know, Rebecca wanted to bring it up, and I was like, I think this is necessary to kind of like at least white hell. <laughs> I think they <laughs> want to Dude, listen. Not on Black Ramadan. Now, listen. <laughs> I, I honestly, Wait a minute. I think that her commentary, her, her like. <laughs> She wants because people want to talk about whatever. There and she's are a fourth grade teacher that right? have nothing to do with sexuality, mm-hmm. but they will make it about sexuality because it's black. <laughs> like it, it ain't nobody talking about that. Hey, now just because it's a CRT situation, it's whatever. As a teacher, and I, I believe I don't know where she's from, but you can tell. You can you Probably have an Florida. idea. It could be one of the states: Florida, Georgia, Texas. Hmm. It might swing up into Louisiana a little bit, but South we don't know. Bit. But that's just the, in those areas. Virginia. She gives me that. Now, oh, however, it's definitely like, giving me Virginia. Okay, she can give me that too. She she does. Now, for her to be a teacher and w- go to a school, they got those schools. You want to do that and talk about the love of God to the children? They got schools for that. Go teach at those uh, specific schools that are designed mm. to teach kids about Jesus. Not every parent is going to want that. Uh, you know, the type of um, the type of education and teaching that she believes is happening in school for kids to say that they're not. You know, not. It's not even. They're not teaching the kids this. They're just saying, "Hey, we're not going to be bothering kids and telling them to identify with the gender or whatever. We we're just going to have kids in school learning. That's what we're going to be doing because that's what's important to us is for the kids to be in school to learn." And she's so bothered by that that she wants to do. Is it gentrifying it? I don't know. Hmm. But she wants to care in it. Hmm. She wants and to co-opt that, that movement. Yeah. Yeah. She wants yeah. to go ahead and now say, "Hey." Since they're doing this, why can't I start teaching the kids how God made man and a woman? And it's not by now. Don't get me wrong. I love a good Bible study. My babies, when I have them, they gonna be going. Yes, they are. Um, you know, and we they gotta be black Jesus and, and stuff. You gotta be good and black. But I'm not expecting my 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 son or daughter's teacher to teach them about Jesus. To teach them about the Lord, to teach them about what's in the Bible. It may not be that child's beliefs. It may not be that. Now, when you take a child to public school, you already know what to expect. Whiteness. Mm -hmm. You expect white teachings, period. We already know how that goes. Then you got your math. Then you got your Mm, sciences. Then you got all of that other stuff. All those books that we had to read and things like that are already being pulled out of the schools, especially with the black ones. Now, you're upset about schools saying that they're not going to put pressure or some schools. And it's not all education systems because some education systems are still being very, very strict. And, you know, boy, girl and no, no talking about uh, uh, sexuality or being black or those Mm -hmm. kind of things. Yeah, Florida. Um, But, you know, her saying that she wants to go and be a Sunday school teacher 
I don't know, go like go to a Catholic school, go to, you know, one of those schools that are specific to religious teachings. They have those schools. Go there and be great. Go and sin no more because you saying that you want to do this in these schools, that's that's a bit impossible. Um, you know, not every kid is a believer in that way or their parents are believers. Um, you know, why didn't, wasn't that something on your heart before all of this? Before <clears throat> them talking about um, uh, little boys and girls not identifying with being boys and girls or, you know, right. uh, mm-hmm. you know, why wasn't that not a conversation for you then? Now you want to instill that there was a man, a maid and a, a woman maid. Um, well, as for you and your house, that's what you do. You know what I'm saying? Just continue to teach the kids. That's what they're there for. That kid needs you to be their teacher. Well, because mm-hmm. it's never about it's, it's never about them exercising their own religious freedom, right? It's about them being able to control your freedom, your life. It's never about just having enough constitutional rights to be able to go to their own church and preach whatever they want to preach to the people who want to hear it. It's always one hundred percent been about being able to control the sexuality of every other human on this planet. That's that's what these evangelicals and these idiotic people, Neanderthals, are like. Um, but I, I want to leave because we're out of time. But I'll just leave it here. We can pick it up another time. Listen, good news to all the trans people in the world. God is non-binary, based on the biblical definition. You tell me the gender of a spirit. You tell me the sexuality of a spirit. Then we can have a conversation. Other than that, we'll talk after that. We're going to the after party. Yep, after party. Let's do it.